Hi guys, welcome back. Don't forget, if you want to know how to use a carbide, come to the dark side. Right. Um, welcome everybody. I'm, I'm going to turn a little pot. I want to do a little bit of like weave basket type thing. I'm probably going to do a bit of my old pornography with me pornography, pornography. set. So, <laughs> right. I'm turning it. The, I've got this square lump of you, okay? Now, I'm hoping to keep that knot on the side. Um, I've drilled a, a worm screw hole. That's how I'd rather use it. I'm not turning this spindle, I'm turning it bowl orientation. Now, I would rather put it onto a worm screw than anything else because that's going to go in an inch into there, that's going to be there, and I know that's not going to come off. Okay. I know this worm screw, I have confidence in that, that's not going to break or anything like that. So, unless I've done something really, 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 really stupid, which <laughs> I'm not going to, everything will be all right. Right now, I'm tight. I'm going to back it off a bit, especially being this is you, it does get a bit of a grip. And I'm coming back and that is it. I'm not, don't over tight and that's done. It's nipped and that's it. Right now, I'm just going to bring that up and I've just got my point one in, okay. And that's it that'll be absolutely fine and that should be quite well balanced actually should be able to get a, a decent decent turn on that right just bring this in now i want this at a slight angle because i want to be able to taper around i don't want to right okay so i'm, I'm going to start with it at there be tall rest i'm going to bring it down a bit lower what i'm going to do because I've got this as a square like this, you can't use a roughing gouge on it. Don't try, because we're in, but if it was round that way, we could, but this way, no, because this is bowl orientation. So you really don't want to be using a, a spindle roughing gouge on that. Um, so I'm going to, because it's square like this, and it's quite a chunk, I'm going to use one of my big bolt gouges. Not that I need a massive tool for it, but that takes out any vibration. I can come round and get it done. Now, as I've said before, I have lowered the flute on this. Crown won't make one for me. So I've actually lowered the flute on this so I can get nearer to a spindle gouge. Sort of flute, if you like. So that's what I've done. Right, um, I'm gonna get turning. And you'll see what we're gonna, what we're gonna do as we do it. Should be a bit of fun, this one. I ain't done one of these for a little while. Right, okay. They've turned down a bit, let's start up, see what it does, lock that up. Yeah, I can get a bit of speed up on this. Right, it's going to come in, take these corners off. Remember when you move your tool, rest nice and gentle, don't hit nothing, don't ram it in. Not round yet. Get a bit of this bottom done. Well 
of a big tool for doing this actually. But as I said, I've got it so it takes a vibration out. I can still feel that little bit square on that top just there. But I will stop and have a look because I might go down, probably go to a smaller gauge now. But I've got that knot, I've got a couple of little flats, that's all. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, right, okay. No, I've got a nasty bit there. Right, I'm probably going to have to come in a little bit smaller with that because I've, I've got a rotten bit there. If you can see that, I don't know if you can see yeah, it. Yeah, I can just see the top of it, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to have to come in a little bit more on that one. Okay. I'll get my speed up a little bit more now. Right, got rid of that now I think I've still got a bit I've got only got a little bit so if I take a little bit more of a cut I should get rid of that right yeah one more cut and I should get rid of it It's a shame actually, I've had to reduce the size, but what can you do? Right, right, I'm going over to different, I'm going over to spindle gas now. I'm done with this one. I can get it back in where it goes. Oh, the shavings in there, look. <laughs> right, okay. Um, yeah. It's all rest up. We'll go to a, a hot in spindle gouge for the moment. Get a foot on there. sort of curve there. I don't know actually, I might Yeah, that'd be alright.
Look, just got a small bump there. Right, okay. So to do this, you're going to need to get a really... really good finish off your tool okay so if you can't get that you're going to have to do quite a bit of sanding before you start right you want a really nice clean finish like this okay right we've got that knot there that could cause us a problem i don't know all right so you want a really really good finish off your tool right now we're going to do some some bits right I want to do my basket weave now, so I might have to move this tool rest as I go round, I don't know. Right, for this I'm going to be using a, a smaller 3 eighths spindle gouge. Okay. Yeah, I'm on centre. Right, okay, let's put some, uh, put some beads in it. I think that's all right there. Now I would normally tell you not to go on the downhill with doing this, but it's not too bad here. Right, well, let's stop at that for a minute. And I'm going to check and see if there's any I want to just refine a bit. Always be careful if you're going downhill. Take extra care. See, like there. It wants to grab, but it goes downhill. Better if you go uphill.
that one bead there where it transitions. That's better. Right, and that one's got that swipe. There we go. Right now, I've got to sort the top out. So that is a bead. There we go, right, okay. We can get hold of that, we can do that, we can do everything there. So we should be good with that. have a look at it and see right there we go guys there's our beads now we've got a slight crack there actually that I might have been where that tool caught right so hang on hang on right I can't see it when it's turning it's that one right okay transition onto this one I've got to just slightly get these it's like I said when you go downhill you've got to be very careful because it will try to grab and skid you it's, it's better to go uphill not downhill yep we got it got rid of it there you go right okay so now that's that bit done now what I'm going to do turn this round and pop it in my oh actually i'm going to take that bottom right off first sorry it's on a worm screw so i know i can move that i can move that away okay because i'm on a, i'm on a worm i'll take that bottom bit off Right, that's okay at that. That's all okay. Right, now then. I was going to take it off to do this next bit and put it on the chuck. I think I might do this next bit and then hollow it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of me old pornography in it. I thought that knot was going to cause me problems actually, but it didn't. We got through that. That was all right. I say we. So I say we. Plenty, it was of, plenty me. of people that want to watch you do your pornography. <laughs> do my pornography. <laughs> well. Oh my God. Watch and see. No. Right. Yeah, oh, I've just got to undo that. A minute. Right. Just have that there. Just grab my bits. <laughs> grab your bits. <laughs> you're gonna do your pornography. You're gonna grab your bits. <laughs> Pack it up, you. <laughs> there could be some children watching this channel. No, it's they're not supposed to be. Oh, look at that. That can't go on. Oh, what a stupid idea that is. Look, see, the uh, threads are too far up. Right, okay. Quick, um, a quick change in. Change. We're gonna pop that in. No, we're not. We're gonna pop that on there. <laughs> <laughs> So I can, uh, yeah. Take the thing out Hang on. and screw it <laughs> I might have to give that a jam like that and then I can undo that, that's it. Right, sorry guys, I've got to take it off of here first. Right, okay. Uh, sorry, I've got to keep that. I thought I could put that back on with that, but I can't. Right, 
Now, yeah, do I want to hollow it first before I do the next bit, or do I want to put on and do the next bit and then I'll hollow it? I think I'm going to maybe hollow it first, guys. I think if I do the next bit, is it that chuck? No, that chuck's too tight. It's going to be this chuck. Am I reckoning? Right, okay. I did go for the other chuck, but obviously it's not going to be the other chuck. It's going to be this one, which means, no, that's not big enough. It's going to have to be the other chuck. Right, hang on, just bear with me, bear with me. I did it for the other chuck, but I thought it was too, going to be too small, but actually looking at it, I don't think it is going to be. Because remembering that these are stepped, I can go into the next one. Yeah. Oh, it's all right anyway, look. It was all right. I looked at it and thought that weren't going to be right, but it is right, look, see? Perfect, nothing wrong perfect, with that. Perfect. That's the, that's the jaws I actually did it for, and then I thought, oh, that's going to be too small. Right, I'm tight and a quarter. That That is it, okay? Tight and a quarter. Tight and your daughter. Right, okay, and as you see, we've done no sanding on that, and we've got a beautiful finish. That's the main thing. Get If you can't get that, that finish off the top, then you'll just have to do some sanding. Oh, well. <laughs> Until you get better at it. Oh, did he say that? Oh, oh, oh. Right, okay. We'll get this hollowed. I'm probably, I'm going to go in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use some, probably use a carbide to go in there at first. Uh, yeah. Probably. Probably. Go in, I think, with the, uh, I think I'll go with the box hollow. And we're going to be going down a little bit. I'm using the number two one for now, just to get started. Move this out of my way. I'll just get it started. Yep, everything's staying where it is. gonna do is I'm gonna use my drill bit so I can get roughly down to the deck so I'm back there so I can put a mark on that put, oh need falling over put a pencil mark on remember don't hold the actual drill bit because there let's see it try to spin if you had that your hand on that drill bit you would have been sorry let me just check it's the pencil mark that i had where is it there yes that one right okay right that do me yeah never never hold that like that and do it don't hold it like that because when that grabs and it spins that will take the skin right off your finger. Fingers. Trust me I do know. <laughs> right, okay. Right, now the reason I've done that is because for the quickest way for me to follow this is to use a 40mm square chisel. Remember, you need it set above centre for this, um, because if you're 
on centre or below it, you won't get in the hole. It keep pushing you over. careful because I'm pushing down and that comes in there so I don't want to go through the side right let's get rid of all this rubbish to the bottom of our hole so we're flat on the bottom and we've got a lovely flat bottom there there we go I don't know if you can see down to that bottom I can can you see the bottom yeah. you can see right down there you might have to lower the camera down a little bit just so you can see right into the bottom there look Right. Now I'm trying to come in there because let's get rid of some of this. Get rid of some of that so we can see. Right, I've got to come in a bit there because obviously we paid for in at the bottom, right? But we're down to the bottom, we've got a lovely flat bottom. We're gonna do the sides a bit. I say it's a lovely way of hollowing this really. I see so many people, so many different systems for hollowing. And really this beats them all. It's, it's fantastic. 
And when you're doing it, you're going right down deep, just put your chin right there above the handle, <laughs> right? Just there. And look it, because if you get a catch and that whacks you under the chin, I guarantee the next one you do, you won't get a catch. You will perfect the art, believe me. Right now, I'm down to about as far as I can really go with the square because obviously I've got this this shape. I'm going to stop and just check the knot because I might end up losing the knot. I don't know. Now it seems. It seems all right, but yeah, we're, we're not. Now, actually my wall thickness is about right down the bottom there, and I've got a fairly good taper in here, so we're quite even actually. We're quite even, I'm surprised. I thought the square was gonna leave it a bit, what's it on the sides? Right now I'm thinking, what I might do, because I've got a feeling I could lose that knot if I'm not careful. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some super glue on the, I don't want it on the outside because it'll stain the wood. So I'm going to put a little bit on the inside. Mm -hmm. Right, it hasn't come out of it, so that's good. Right, that should be all right. So, now we've got pretty good finish in there as well. Fantastic tool for doing hollowing, the square chisel. It really is. Absolute fantastic tool. All these big hollowing systems and stuff. Nah. Right, now what I'm gonna do, because obviously I need to, I mean, I'm quite deep down in there. I don't know how deep down we are. Didn't really measure. 24 inches. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right, we're four and a half inches in, so it's not massive, but it's still quite grabby with a lot of tools. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my nine mil. I'm not going to use the box one. I'm going to use the deep hollower. That's on the the 16 mil round bar, and that will allow me to get in and dip di this shape that I want. Now I'm going to have to move that that light down, that tool. Hopefully, it's not going to be in your way. And because it was in my way a little bit. Right, that's it. Now you can see. So now I'm still above center. I want to be above center. I don't want to go below or on. Right, now I can just come in here. And start to clean this. Now a little bit of vibration. So I'm not actually holding the tool. I'm, I'm really light with it. So I'm going to hold it a little bit. So I really need to follow this shape, see? There we go, that's pretty good. And I am just using it flat at the moment. Yeah, a lot of muck in there. Right, I'm gonna go on the bottom. I'm now rolling the tool over. Got that little nipple in the middle there. That's it. 
There we go, that's the smooth bottom. Oh, until I get a catch like that. <laughs> I'm going to have to move this torch is a little bit in my way, actually. Can I go, can I go underneath and turn it in there? I'm trying to keep a light so I can see and you can see. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, that's better. Right, there we go, now we're in. Now we're coming out and we've got to do the same as we normally do for our finished cut. But I've got this getting in my way now. <laughs> Sorry guys, I've got my ball getting in my way. I couldn't drop my handle down. Right, let's get back where I was. That's alright, that feels pretty good. Let's get the dirt out of that. Let's get all the crud out of it and we'll just see where we are. There. A lovely smooth finish all the way up that side. Right. Not stayed in alright. Yeah, got a lovely smooth finish there, all the way up. That's nice. That's nice, that is. Right, okay, I'm gonna move this away. Oh, just so you can see, if you can see in there, at least I can show you. Mm -hmm. Got a lovely finish, all right? Pretty good. Okay, let's put that back up there out of the way. That's where that lives, up there somewhere. Oh, somewhere up there. Oh, I don't know. Come on. Oh, that's it. That's out of my way. Right, put the box on the back of the deep hollower. Right. Now I've got to clean this, this front edge up. That's not cleaned yet. Right, okay. Clean that front edge up. I'm going to use my little 6mm here. Come on. Slightly high. There we go. I ain't got this in the handle at the moment. I want this to seem like a bead as well, see? There we go, got it. Is that a little line there? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, a little line. Yeah, I can see it now. I can see it on that side, but I can't see it on this side. Yeah. Gone. That's gone. There we go, right, okay. Got a little bit of here. I might, I'm not sanding anything on the outside, but I might just do a little quick little buzz on the inside, all right? I'm going to put this on, because this is you. Not me, it's you. <laughs> Finger touched there, then in the crack of my finger, and now it got hot. Right, <laughs> like four, four fingers in it. Well, I might just give a little. Right, that's enough time spent on that. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm going to oil this at the finish, by the way. So that's why you've got to get a really clean finish. If you're going to oil it, it will really show up if there's any marks. Right, okay, that all looks good. Before I turn it round, I'll put some oil in the inside. Give it a I'm going to oil the inside of it first before I turn it round so it can have a little soak. I don't want no oil on the outside. Not at all. None. Made that nice and dark, isn't it? Look at yeah, that, isn't it lovely? Yeah, yeah. Right, it's got a lovely bit of oil swirling around in there now. Right, okay, there we go, that's that done. Nice, that looks nice in there. Yeah, very nice. Right, okay, now I want to turn it round. Now, I don't know whether I'll get that over that. No, I won't. Right, okay. Yeah, that's really nice in there. Look. You see? Yeah, it's very dark though. Very dark, mm -hmm. yeah, well it will be. Is that, what if yeah. I do that? Yeah? You can see it. Right, okay. I'll mm -hmm. pop that there. Take this chuck off. Right, let's see how I'm going to hold this for the moment. Well, I, ain't, I know I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it on this chuck for now. Right, now I need more pieces. In the indexing system. Well, I can take this off. I don't need this on now. Oh, yeah. We're pretty much done with the turning. Right, okay. So, my indexing system. Put my chuck on. That's it. Just like that. Right, yes, that's going to work. Okay. That's going to go over that. So, I'm actually holding on this, the outside of the chuck drawers. Okay. So, that's it. That's as tight as I dare go. I don't want to crack it, so that's tight enough. That's done. Like I said, I'm not turning this at this point. I will be turning the foot later. I should probably turn it now, but oh, no, I can't be bothered to do that. I'll do that after I've done the, the next bit. Right, okay. So now I need for my index in. Clamp this into place. Yep, that's all right. That'll do me. All right, let me get my table in. Do a little bit of burning so this takes a little bit of time but you know it is what it is and it? it is what it is it is what it is right okay let's turn this on get that ready let me see which one i want i want that one right okay that one can sit up there right so number one right just let this heat up guys and then we get started and i'm gonna do my basket weave bit on here. Come on. Yep, that's getting hot. There we are. Right, okay.
Now, I know you won't see none of this. I thought Lisa might have brought you around this side, actually. Yeah. yeah. As it comes around, it does it more on this side now. See, the thing is, you know, having a camera woman. Well. <laughs> she had a lunch break last week, and now I've got to retrain her. <laughs> I thought you'd turn it then the other way around, I think. So. I can't actually do it from the other side, can no, I? No, as in when you turn it, it will come round and I'll be able to see. But Yeah, but people might want to see what I'm actually doing. Do it, yeah. Right, I'm actually going to take that just up there like that. I'm going to be turning that down. I'm going to be rolling the edge, so this will still be all right. Right. It won't take too long. I'm only doing 10, 10 segments, so... Right through that knot, look at that. That's going to take a bit more to burn, isn't it? A knot. I'm not going to say it's not burning. <laughs> That's all right, because it fits in the middle. It's all a nice bit. I love, I love a bit of character in wood. So, there we go. Get that going. There we go. <coughs> yeah, I had quite a few people asking what we thought of Harrogate and that. Mm. To be honest, I was a bit disappointed. I thought there'd be more available to sort of buy, but it, it wasn't really. It was pretty bad. No deals or anything either. It's not right. Well... Like I said, I did go prepared to buy some stuff, but no. Bit comical, really. I mean, you yeah. know, not knocking anyone, but I suppose I am knocking someone. But I went to, I mean, the Axminster stand, and I find it quite comical, actually, because you asked a question to one of their so-called experts, and he gets his iPad and <laughs> looks it up on their website. And I think, well, I can do that, mate. It's a bit like when you go to Machine Mart, isn't it? And uh, <laughs> you ask one of their experts a question about a tool and they go over and read the box. I just find, it's like, what do they do at their interview? Can you read our catalogue? Yeah, cool, blimey, you're an expert. <laughs> bit like Maureen Lippman, isn't it? You've got an ology, you're a blooming scientist. <laughs> but now I asked the guy, and then the stuff I wanted, he said, Oh no, uh, you can get it on back order. Back order yeah. I thought, well, well, why have you come to a show and, you've got and you got no, you ain't got the items? What's the point of that? Anyway, so I didn't buy nothing off of that stand. So that was that. But I've got a couple of little bits. I was going to get myself a Vitmar Chuck, actually. <laughs> I see that big Vitmar Chuck, and I, I did actually. I don't want another Chuck. I don't need one. Um, but I did like the Vitmar Chuck. 345 quid is. Um, but I'm afraid Simon Oak, well, I found him oh. to be very ignorant when he came over and spoke to me, so he yeah. didn't get none of my money. No. He might be different with some other people, but I found him to be very ignorant, so... Uh, afraid I didn't spend no money on that stand. Oops, let me tie that down. My clamp is coming moving. Yes, Jasmine, I can hear you over there, darling. <laughs> but you can't come over here because there's all sawdust and you get it all, all wood shavings, I should say, and you get it all in your fur. So you stand there and whimper. The other two just laying on their bed. They're they're quite happy there. Mm. She has to be up close and personal. Yeah, and other than that, that with the the show, I didn't just 
just didn't find there was much really there. I didn't find it that, that good, actually. I thought it was quite bad as well with the um, car found... carbide tools as well. Yeah. Um, easy, the easy wood tools one. They're all in the, just in the box on the floor. Yeah, Axminster tools just having them in a box on the floor. I thought, well, you could at least have them out. <laughs> Bloody hell. It's not very good, is it? Just a box on the floor with a, well, a crate. Mm. Or a cardboard box with them all in. But the sad news, guys. Oh, oh. Style and Bates is closing. Yeah. Oh, I'm gutted. Absolutely gutted. That's that's two. That, that and Snayton, that's two of our best wood turning shops gone. You know, and it's it's such a bloody shame, it really is. But what can you do? And it's a show because I like styling base. Because if you phone, if you actually got to speak to Dave, I know he's very busy, and you don't always get to speak to him. But again, getting back to the the thing of knowing what people are talking about, because he's got the experience. So if you ask him about something, he knows what he's actually talking about. He doesn't have to go and get a booklet and read it to you. <laughs> um. And yeah, it's a shame, you know. I get an order of every month from them, but they've been fantastic. Um, so yeah, it's it's a shame they're going to be going. It really is. But there you go. What can you do? Good luck. I hope they are uh, happy with whatever they do from that. So yeah. But that, yeah, as I say... With Snate and going, then Style and Bates, that's, that's two of the best shops we've got. So. Sorry this takes a bit of time, guys, but, you know, you can only do it at the pace you can do it at, can't you? You know, I've got to let it burn it, so... I know, I know, yes. Jasmine. You, you've been patient, aren't you, darling? But it goes as fast as it goes, sweetheart. I think this is the last one. Yeah. This is the last one I've got to do, all right? I'm not doing um, a lot of it. I, 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 normally, I would do them a bit closer together than this, but this is this is enough for what I want to do on this, this little pot. And otherwise, it would take quite a while doing all this, so... Oh... <laughs> What do you mean, oh, what, was you looking forward to me doing another line? Was you? <laughs> yeah, that dog can be six inches away from you and she'll moan because she wants to be two inches away. Yeah. She's a funny dog. She really is. She never used to be like that. No. Oh, my God. You couldn't get her anywhere near you. She'd always want to be off on her own. Right, okay. okay. That's that. Yeah, it's not too bad. Right, next part. So I'm gonna turn me, turn me pornography machine off. <laughs> right, you can you bugger off right back round there oh now. Thank God. you. See? Come on. I'm going. I'm going. I can only go so fast. Watch yourself. I have heard Steve Spielberg's looking for. a... Yeah. For position, he did email me the other day, so any chance? I said, well, no, not at the moment, mate. Lisa's doing it, she's doing all right. You know. I mean, give her an allowance, she's still in training, I'm so it's... Still yeah. I'm still here. <laughs> right, okay. I've got to turn that bottom off. Right, now. I, 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 spit it out. Wait, I think I'm pretty safe on that, because I've got to turn it on. At the moment, I don't want no towel stock up there at the moment. So, right, yeah, I think. Oh no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, don't want to turn it on like that, do I? Take no, that off first. Got, yeah. <laughs> I've got to take the indexing ring off first. <laughs> right now, we pop it back on. That's it. That that just locked. Right, I'm just gonna check, and make sure I've got. Yeah, I can't go no tight. That's it. That's tight enough. Right, okay, because now what I want to do is I want to put the lines in around it. Mm. So I'm going to start it up. Make sure. Yep, that's all all right. Now, as long as I don't go pushing too hard down on anything, we should be okay. Oh, that's very smoky, yeah. <laughs> put my dust in. Oh, look, I just burnt my bloody shirt. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just put a wire on my shirt, look, and burnt a hole through it. Oh, you're terrible, oh. you are. Terrible for burning your oh, shirt. Oh, the things I do for... Oh. <laughs> Don't get your That's where I've got to be careful. I can't put too much pressure on it. So I just have to let it take its time to burn. There we go. Now, this is where we've got to be really, really gentle with our cuts because all I want to do is roll this edge. That is the foot. Okay, so I, I already sort of cleaned that bottom up. I might have to come in and take a little bit off, but I've got to be really, really gentle with this because we don't want to lose it. So I've got to come in and take a little bit more off the bottom. Just like so, I've got to make sure it's going to sit in, see? That's it, I want that little indent like that. That's good. Right, that's good, that's got that slight indent there. Now I've just got to roll this a little bit. I can't, can't come round from the other side because I've got the, the lines there, see, and I want to keep the lines there. Right, so that's what I want to do, like that. And then, what I want to do... Come on, come on. Get burning. Just burn that end. There we go. That's it. That's what I wanted to do. That is it. Right, okay. So now... What I'm going to do, I'm going to pop that in there. I'm going to turn it down because obviously I don't want to get, get saturated in it. Turn it down a bit slower than that. <laughs> now I'm just going to. Still does it. A bit slower than that, even. <laughs> Using the brush because that way it gets right into the gaps. Right, and as I said, guys, you've got to be um, pretty good off your tool because if you don't, it will show up when you put that oil on. So you've got to be right there. Look at that. Oh, 
so you don't no torn grain no to kind of no torn grain tool marks or anything like that it's got to be good we've done no sanding on that as you see i didn't really do anything with sandpaper and right quite thin oh. thin enough there look like that's gone beautiful color look at the rich colors on that hey eh? And there we go, so a little basket weave pot. Okay. There we go, guys. That that actually, if you was to put some uh fill that up with something and put a little thing on the top of it, I don't know what sort of thing. I've got a picture in my head, but I can't think of it. What's that make a lovely thing? Christmas present, that, you know. Oh, yeah. Put like a, one of those ribbon things that you tie up, you know. Yeah. Um, put some sweets in it or something like that and give it so but that, that would make a lovely lovely present wouldn't it that's actually really nice that there you go guys okay and the beads all turned back now you can get tools if you want to use a beading tool you know if you want to cheat i think they're in the learn with mother section something i'm not sure um and they help you do your beading but if you want to get some real satisfaction guys then just learn to roll them on a spindle gouge and like I say, if you don't get everyone perfect, doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Because you've got the satisfaction, you rolled them all by hand. You've done it all yourself, didn't you? Like that. So there we go. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love that. Yep. Yep. I'll be keeping this one. Definitely. Definitely. And as I said, that's square. And then came in with the deep hollow just to clean it up with a 9mm. And there we go. Lovely finish on the inside. So there we go. Nice little pot. Right. That's it, guys. That's done. <laughs> I will see you on the next one. So, doodle pip and have fun basket weaving. Bye, guys. Doodle pip.